All right, guys, and welcome to episode number 13, lucky number 13. We are starting off with a quick run in depths. Wait, no, not depths. Barnacles and black powder. Holy crap, guys. We just went like an hour on the last boss of barnacles, but we beat it at the end. And we got a fire staff. <laughs> All right, we just wrapped up a dynasty run and we we didn't quite finish it up. We kept getting stuck on the two uh, ads that is Sabella's fight, but we did pick up a few things. Gotta still look them up. We picked up this Wodao greatsword. 29 decks, keen and refreshing move. We also picked up the Keeper's Pendant, a Energizing Charm, and a Shard of Lithoma Lithomancy. This Energizing Charm does look interesting. Gotta look up the third perk on it though. All right, we just wrapped up our first M1 of the week on Genesis. It was a little, it was a little iffy, but we still pulled out a silver. Uh, we skipped two bosses. I didn't know that was a thing, but let's see what uh, we got. Let's see what we got. We didn't get much. All we got was this primordial boots of the century, which are kind of okay, but needs more. M1, and we still get Eris Domain at 500. Hey, gold, gold, nice. All right, we didn't get much from her either, so that's how it goes sometimes. I got this decent primeval void gauntlet of the sage. If you're running a void gauntlet, that is. Keen, corrupted, and vicious. All right, and it's getting kind of late, so we're gonna do our daily amulet cast uh, gamba real quick. Get that crafted up. All right, let's open her up. Stamina recovery and fortify. That's not too bad. That's similar to the one that we currently have, the old amulet that we currently have. Oh wait, no, it was a reinforced tempestuous amulet of the soldier that we had with stamina recovery and fortified. All right, so real quick, I am gonna craft two angry earth trophies so we can put them up we did that genesis run yesterday without a uh angry earth trophy actually slotted in so here we go got these two gonna go put them in the house real quick okay and there we go we got all three angry earth minor trophies uh up and ready to go all right here we go jumping into the world event the new uh legacy of crassus let's see what we get oh my god all right the event's done we got our two reward caches. We're gonna open up in a little bit. We're gonna do one or two more and we'll see how it goes. All right, there we go, that's two. We got our armor case. Uh, let's go try one more. All right, that's three. Let's go ahead and uh, open these up, I guess. We'll start with the uh, weapon cases. A green. Ugh. Round shield of the soldier, round shield. Fortified shield rush sturdy and keenly empowered. Ain't too bad. It ain't too bad. Makes me want to kind of go again almost. And let's check the last one. We got the bow. The Sagittar of Lucanus. Keen, Vorpal, and Keenly Jagged. You know, it ain't a bad bow, honestly. That's not bad, dude. All right. Well, that's a silver run. Uh, we had a couple of like false starts on runs today, but we'll take it. Let's see if we got anything good. Where is the loot? Here it is. Lighted growth chest wrap. I mean, that's a good drop. It's not something we're going to personally use. But it's good to have. I think I have the headdress. So at least we have two pieces of that set. Oh, damn. Look at this. We got like some kind of event here. Hell, this was actually an interesting little fight, man. All right. Now let's open up this uh, glyph that he was guarding. Hopefully we got something cool, but I'm pretty sure it's just going to be a bunch of random stuff. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, check out this uh, Hellfire Life Staff of the Sage. Fortifying Sacred Ground and Flame Attuma. We're going to lock that up if we ever do any healing. All right, let's uh, wrap up the night with the uh, just some amulet cast and a little bit more Gamba. Yikes. Yikes. So nothing really all that great. All right, I wasn't recording, but uh, we just wrapped up a Legacy of Crassus run, the first one of the day. We're going to go ahead and do maybe one or two more, and we'll see what we do after that. All right, second kill of the day. We didn't get a we didn't get a chest, though. We got a drop. Staff of the Blighted Horrors, Mending Protection, Ancient Bane. Interesting. I wonder if that's one of the drops. I thought they were dropping uh, 600 items. Yeah. All right, here we go. Open in the first... Uh, chest and let's open the crate yeah see here we go this is what i thought they were dropping pop lights great blade 30 decks punishing cruel 10 percent against targets with active cooldown okay 
Fiend, Vicious, and Relentless Free. That's not bad. That's not a bad greatsword. The Butcher's Cleaver. I've never seen that drop. Let's go ahead and lock it up. It's got more, more, Mortal Lifesteal. Can't speak. But uh, yeah, I've never seen that before. All right. We just wrapped up that M2 run we were on with a gold. Nice. A little bit of lag today. All right. Let's see what she uh, what she gave up here. A primeval longsword and dry patrol shoes. Yeah, I've been having I've been having terrible luck finding re finding replacements for my heavy gear with uh angry earthward. So we'll see what we can find out there. I'm gonna do a little bit of research. Gonna jump on NWDB. I don't really want to farm for the harbingers because I find it kind of boring. I want to do runs and stuff. So we'll see what we do. All right, just wrapped up another gold run here and two. Let's see what we get. Garden Keeper Tower Shield. Let's see. Let's see. All right. So we got a uh, Forest Stalker's Earring. We got a blue. I think at least it has Angry Earth Ward, but it's not that great. All right. So we just wrapped up that second run of the night in Genesis M2. We're going to take a small break to clear out all the stuff in our inventory. Uh, I did put on my luck set to see if it did anything at the end. We'll see. I don't think it did, but um, yeah, bags clean up and then we'll see what we do. Might go farm Angry Earth. It's, it's not dropping for me in in uh in genesis so we'll see all right and in those two runs we only picked up these dryad guard greaves of the sentry uh and one of the scholars so a medium and a heavy the heavy uh could have been usable but i don't really use greatsword for tanking not really getting much out of genesis right all right we're gonna farm for the harbinger set and uh we'll see how it goes just killed the first group of guys there all right, can you drop it that time? All right, we can get it this time. guys are being super stingy. And I joined this little uh, Zerg here that's just been going around killing snipers and the supply guards. So hopefully uh, we'll get a bunch of kills under our chest here. That's where I'm going to call it. That was a whole bunch of kills and we didn't get it. Even with our luck gear, uh, we're going to call it for the night. And it, hit it again tomorrow morning. All right. First crassest kill of the day. Let's, uh, let's open this up here real quick. Guard of Consecrated Iron. Fist of Decimus. You know what? That's not too bad. I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll take that.
All right, so we were at mines for like two hours. I'm going to take a lunch break because, oh my God, nothing has dropped. Okay, so I spent about the last five hours farming for uh, the Harbinger set. And it's, I don't think it's going to happen, guys. Um, I need a break from it, so I'm going to probably go do a Genesis run or two or ten. And uh, we'll see what we do, you know. All right, we're jumping into a Genesis run here just so that we can uh, get a change of pace, man. All right, just wrapped up that uh, regular Genesis. We got a 600 legendary blunderbuss garden keepers. Something, something. Let's take a look at it real quick. Keen, ruinous, and hated. My God. Okay, so we just wrapped up that Genesis run. We got one 600 item. It was this uh, legendary blunderbuss. Nothing to write home about, but um, I'm kind of feeling that the put together, and this is definitely not optimal, the, this put together Angry Earth set is definitely going to be doable for like M3s. That's kind of what I was worrying about with only having two pieces. Um, but I went ahead and added this chest piece and this uh, shield. So we'll get this upgraded to like 606 and uh, jump into an M3. All right, and we have our luck set on. Uh, just doing this little chest run before uh, the M3 mutation pops. Oh, we just got a precision engineering tool. Nice. Let's look at it real quick. Where is it? Here it is. When we get our furnishing up to uh, make that trophy, we'll be able to. The dungeon has popped, so we're going to jump in real quick. All right, here we go. First M3 Genesis run. Let's go. All right, we got something decent here. Hellfire Gauntlets of the Soldier, uh, 24 strength and flame conditioning. All right, ended up in a silver, but hey, it still counts. We do need to get more Angry Earth Ward. Uh, at least a tank set, man. Something with strength and con. Light and heavy headwear, but it's focused. All right, we just wrapped up that Genesis run M3. We got a silver, which is good enough to move us forward, but man, I really need some Angry Earth Ward stuff. Um, Got to go through all the gear. This is like the only 600 item that dropped. And then the only other notable item was this uh, Hellfire Gauntlet of the Soldier. I think I mentioned it earlier. It has the flame conditioning, which is really good for this particular mutator. All right, we just made 100. So we're going to upgrade all of our opals to uh, the brilliant opals. All right, here we go into uh, another Genesis run, this time M2. Oh, wow, we actually pulled out a gold mutator. All right, that Gen 2 was over with, so we're going to go ahead and look through uh, everything we got. I don't think we got anything really too notable, but I'm going to go through it anyway. 